Hello friends. In this video, I'm trying to give an outline on how to approach a work of art for competitive exams. What all things we need to study and understand about a literary work, be it a poem, short story, novel, drama, essay, or any other form of art. As students of literature, this method of studying will surely help you to learn more. So let's move on to the video. First of all, you need to make a list of must-known authors from previous year question papers. Soon we will be uploading a video on that. Then you have to make detailed notes on each of the author. This strategy of study will definitely help you in many ways. When you are clear with an author's background details, you could easily find out the answers from the options given in multiple choice questions. So it is very important to know how to approach an author or a work of art. See, this slide gives a clear picture of what all things you need to collect and jot down about an author. You must know the author personally as well as literally. That means you should know the personal and literal background of the author, the literary period or the genre the writer belongs to. Then the major works and the details of those works, summary of the story, themes or messages conveyed through the particular work, famous quotes, dialogues or lines related to the work, important critical analysis of those works, etc. You can use this method for every work of art. First, it will be difficult for you to do this. But once you started doing this, it will be easy for you to learn and memorize many things. Keep a target for yourself. Try to finish it on time. If you do this, you could cover every aspect of the syllabus slowly but clearly. As a sample, I will show you how to do this. Let's take the older Jan Martin, a contemporary Canadian writer who is a well-acknowledged novelist. Jan Martyr, a francophone, that means one who speaks French, who writes in English and won literary prizes for all his published works. He uses simple, common man language with an innovative style. His works share some characteristics with those of magic realists such as Gabriel Garcia Marquez, absurdists such as Samuel Beckett, and travel writers including Paul Turok and Bruce Chatwin. He has been compared to Italo Calvino, Paul Oster, and Salman Rushdie, who all are known for experimenting with the boundaries between genres. He has an international childhood and is a child of two civil servants of French Canadian descent. He spent his childhood in numerous parts of the world, including Alaska, France, India, Mexico. And he married an English author, Alice Kuipers. In one of his interviews, he talks about his process of writing. Idea, research, envelops, and then write. This is how he plans and executes his writing. Other than writing, he divides his time between yoga and volunteering in a palliative care unit. Let's move on to his major works. In 1996, he published his first novel, Self. 2001, he published his second novel named Life of Pi. Beatrice and Virgil, his third novel, was published in 2010, which was an allegorical take on Holocaust. In 2012, he published 101 Letters to a Prime Minister. The High Mountains of Portugal, his fourth novel, was published in 2016 and the story was based on Trojan War. Now we can have a detailed analysis on his second novel, Life of Pi, which was published in the year 2001. As a person who used to travel a lot and a graduate of philosophy, both this helped him in framing his stories with fantastic elements that take the story out of reality. He is a talented writer who devoted his life to crafting stories that take interesting paths and rotate to the truth. 
there are two sources which lead him to write Life of Pi. First is a journey he took to India in the year 1997 with the plans to write a novel. Second is an inspiration from Max and the Cats, a 1981 novella by a Brazilian author. Life of Pi won many literary credits such as Man Booker Prize for Fiction in the year 2002. And in 2004, Asian Pacific American Award for Literature in Best Adult Fiction for the years 2001 to 2003. In the beginning, this novel was rejected by more than five publications, but now it's a bestseller in many countries. His experience is an example for us too. Work constantly, success is on its way. Since researching is his process of writing, he read religious texts like the Bible, the Quran, and the Bhagavad Gita. He studied about animal and child psychology and reread shipwrecked stories in order to frame the story of Life of Pi. Story within story way of narration with an author's note, which is a traditional literary device, is used in this novel. The author, Pi himself, Two officials who interviews Pai and Jan Martel comes as narrators. He made experiments by incorporating different literary genres like travel writing, magical realism, adventures, fable, allegory, etc. in this. These are the major characters in the novel. Let's move on to the details of the characters. Pisin Molita Patel who is called as Pai and Richard Parker the tiger the major characters the story revolves around. What comes to your mind when you hear the word pie? In small classes, we heard such a word, right? Pie, the name recalls the number beginning with 3.14 having no end. That is the ratio of a circle's circumstance to its diameter. He was called as pissing in school because his name sounds like that word. Next, Richard Parker named after his captor Richard Parker. Both Satish Kumar's represents opposing views of the world which Pai adopts simultaneously. Diverse themes like the power of life's force, the human desire for companionship, nature of animals, spirituality and religion, the definition of family, self-perception are all explained through this novel. The Life of Pai tells the story of a South Indian 16-year-old boy named Pai Pate. This story follows him as he lives out at sea for 227 days along with a tiger named Richard Parker. Pai grew up in a place called Pondicherry where his father owned a zoo. This young boy identifies with many religions. He considers himself a part of Hindu, Christianity and Islam beliefs. Things begin to go downhill when the government falls and the family zoo has to be closed. The Patel family has to make the decision to move to Canada and sell all their animals along the way. The ship on which they are making the journey meets with catastrophe and sinks. Pai and Richard Parker are ultimately the sole survivors on the lifeboat and must depend on each other in a variety of ways to withstand the many dangers of being lost at sea with few provisions. These are some of the quotes from the novel. Life of Pai is a 2012 adventure drama film directed by Ang Lee based on Ian Martel's 2001 novel of the same name. Like the novel, the film also was nominated for three Golden Globe Awards which included the Best Picture Drama and the Best Director and won the Golden Globe Award for Best Original Score. At the 85th Academy Awards, it had 11 nominations including Best Picture and Best Adapted Screenplay and won four the most for the show including Best Director for Ang Lee. I hope now you got a clear idea about how to approach a work of art. So don't waste your time, start today itself. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.